So you're just staying here? Yeah, no, I'm just visiting my friend. But I think, what do you think about the situation? Yeah. That is unfair, really. I just heard that they've um, already, they got a call saying they have an attorney, someone willing to help them fight the, the fraudsters. Right, well, they're going to need one because it's an uphill battle. <laughs> but uh, yeah, I, I've seen situations like this before and they usually turn out okay. Oh. But it's going to be a five to six month fight. But it, it usually turns out okay for the renters. Are you going to come down and support them? Yeah. Yeah. Sorry, what, what's your name? Uh, my name is Gordon. I'm Astrid. Astrid. Nah, I can't pronounce that. <laughs> no one here can. <laughs> Astrid? Astrid. Astrid, like... Okay. Like Asterix, but with a D on the end. Okay. I heard that now nah, it's like a mark too, isn't it? Uh, I can't remember. What's that? No, the name Ast Ast it's a some kind of mark, like a quotation or some some kind of mark. Oh asterisk. Yeah. yeah, it's a bit like that. Yeah. But I don't have an E in my name. Okay. <laughs> so where are you going now? Um to Highland Hospital. What what will they do there? The pictures um, are going away. Okay, don't worry. You got to get them. Okay. <laughs> I'm going to get my leg checked out to see if I have another infection in my foot. Are you in pain? Yes, tremendous pain. Do you think they'll be able to help you? Um, well, I stay in constant pain all the time. All the time. Do you not have medication for your pain? Um, yes, I do, but it don't work. So they give me a combination of a lot of different painkillers, and so far I haven't got the right combination yet. And then it like, it's fighting at my mouth now. It's making all my teeth fall out. Chip up to the gum. That must really hurt. Well, it don't, it don't hurt now, but when they got to go in and get these out, it's going to hurt. Because all my teeth fell out. From diabetes? Yeah. And it makes, it makes my teeth dry and brittle and just break over a period of time. And it just, this they chip up to my gum. It lives during the Cretaceous time period. But don't call him a, a, a servant because, because he has a big crust on his nose. Oh, I'd be quite scared of him if I, if he came running. eating syrup. Would he eat but me? Don't call him a syrup. Oh, would you, would you think he'd eat me if I was like around in the forest and he was there? Would he eat people? No. Oh. He only eats meat. Like but we dinosaurs. are meat. He only eats dinosaurs. Oh, so what other dinosaur would he eat? Uh, Iguanodon, Triceratops, or Stegosaurus. So they're the unlucky ones. Where did you learn all these big words at? Dinosaur train. And where is that at? I mean, you watch it on television or at school or what? I watch it at PBS Kids. On the TV PBS show. Kids? So that's on television. Okay, that's good. But he don't sing every song and he don't dance. I've never seen a dinosaur dance. You're telling me there are dancing dinosaurs? No. Nope. Oh. They don't dance at all. Oh. Yeah, that's what I thought. Well, you just said he sings. <laughs> Only on television? How long is it going to take you to get to hospital now? Um, 
I don't know. Actually, it's um, it's on 14th Ave, right, right up here. Shouldn't take long, considering I'm a ride. I'm a ride this. Uh oh, like I said, that's due to no feeling in my hands. Are you done? No, I have very, very little feeling in my hands. I didn't even know I dropped it. And I, that's another thing I can't, I can't feel. I, I don't hold. I can't hold a lot of stuff. And I'm actually trying to quit smoking because all these marks on my hands is from cigarette burns. I burn myself and don't, don't never know I did. So I, I'm trying to quit. <laughs> I, I used to smoke Camel Nine filters. But so now I switch to these long ones with the filter to try to prevent from burning myself. Yeah. But yes, yeah, I can't even write my name or nothing anymore. Do you have anyone to look after you? Um, kind of, sort of. Um, actually, I'm homeless right now. You're kidding? No, I'm not. Can they help you here? Um, well, that's what I'm trying to go through the, the proper channels to get the help I need, but so far I've got the Royal Runaround. So, How long have you been homeless? Um, for like a couple of weeks. And, um... Where, where were you before? Well, I, before I was staying with a cousin, and I was in the hospital a couple of weeks ago with pneumonia. And when it came time for me to get out, she told me that I couldn't come back to her house. Why? I, I don't really know the real reason, but I told her if I'm not wanted here, I don't want to be here. So can, I, you, can you stay here even if you're outside? Can you stay here? We're here? Hmm. Um, most likely I could. They're good people. I don't like to impose on nobody because I got a lot of different conditions going on here and I actually need my own space. So I'm trying to find me a nice one bedroom, a studio, and I haven't had any luck yet. But you must need somewhere that you can have like easy access to. Right, somewhere on the ground with no stairs, probably a ramp. If like say like if I needed probably a ramp for that, but I prefer somewhere on the ground or with an elevator. So how it must be really sorry, do you mind me asking you these this questions? Dinosaur, no, I, I don't This I don't dinosaur know. is called a baryonyx. It has big butt teeth butt teeth over here. And at the back they're small just like fleas. Whoa. And he eats fish to cut other animals. Wow, fish eating dinosaurs. He lived, he lived during the Cretaceous time period. It lived miles of years ago. What's the Cretaceous time period? It means when some meat eating dinosaurs go. And the Jurassic time period is where Whoop. plants uh -uh. eating. Give me that. And a Jurassic do that. and a Jurassic period is where plant eating dinosaurs go. What's wrong with you? Get that off your face. That's the ah. neck. You want to get in there? <laughs> So is it not really hard looking after yourself, like with your condition being um, homeless? Yeah, it's pretty difficult because now everything that I used to do is ten times harder. I mean, it's something that used to take me five minutes can now take me two hours. And it's frustrating. And I mean, I'm having a hard time dealing with it because it all just happened all of a sudden. When I got my leg amputated last July, and I actually went to the hospital for something else. And they seen my foot and told me that I had to go to emergency surgery, that I had gangrene in my bone. And it, 
it blew my mind. I mean, like I said, I was there for something else. And it just, I still haven't recovered. <laughs> It's, it's hard on me, and then a lot of people don't understand what I'm going through because they're not going through the same situation. But they try to give me all the answers and all the solutions. But like I tell them, you, you don't know what you're talking about because you're not experiencing what I'm experiencing. So it is very, very frustrating. To me. Does it scare you being homeless? Yes, it do. It scares me because I'm homeless and I'm sick. So, I mean, it, it really, it really scares me. Like I said, I just got over pneumonia and last couple of nights I slept outside at the bus stop and I still feel the cold in my back right now. It still hurt and I bend and move a certain way. But pneumonia is a really serious. You yeah. like you must be very very strong to get through that because if you have, I'd imagine because um I still like I said I still feel different pains but I know I still cough up some mucus that don't look right and that's another reason why I was going back to the hospital. Yeah, you should get that checked. Yeah, no, I'm going, when I leave here, that's where I'm going, straight there. Straight there, because I was, actually, he came and brought me home with him last night. So I'm going straight from here to the hospital. When, where are you going to go tonight? To, I don't know, hopefully I'll be at the hospital, because I got a hole in the bottom of my foot, probably a out that bed and, and I think it's getting affected again so hopefully they don't just run me in and say here take this dinosaur is called Argentinosaurus with a long neck <sighs> I think that's one of the most impressive yeah it's the biggest dinosaur in the whole world that's amazing, that one, with its red back. It lives, hmm? With its red back? No, I just colored, yeah, with a red back. Yeah. I like that one. It lives during the Jurassic period. Oh, Jurassic this time, that's different. That's a different... And it's a plant-eating dinosaur. Right. Herbivore. Okay. So that's Thank like you. a vegetarian. He just burned rubber. <laughs> to go get another one and come run back and <laughs> <laughs> I'll be like this tomorrow. <laughs> yeah. Okay, I'm gonna let you get off. But it was really nice to meet you and I hope. Okay, it was nice. When to I meet come you back, back here you're still here. I'll probably be around somewhere. So when y'all coming back? Don't know. I'm going home tomorrow. Tomorrow? I only came here for five days to shoot some stuff. And um, So how long does it take to get 